Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to the Q3 FY22 earnings conference call of Engineers India Limited, hosted by Bhatliwala and Karani Securities India Private Limited. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen-only mode. There will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal for an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Kunal Seth from Bakliwala and Karani Securities India Private Limited. Thank you and over to you, sir. Yeah, hi. Thank you, Zaid. Uh, I would like to welcome the management of Engineers India Limited on the call and would like to thank them for giving us this opportunity. From the management today, we have Ms. Vartika Shukla, Chairman and Managing Director and Additional Charge Director Finance. Mr. Suvendu Fadi, uh, Company Secretary, Mr. R.P. Batra, Group General Manager, FNA and IR, and Mr. Vinay Kalia, uh, Chief General Manager, M NBD and IR. Um, Ma'am, I request you to give us some opening remarks, post which we will open the floor for an Q&A. Over to you, Ma'am. Thank you so much. Uh, <clears throat> with regard to the uh, quarterly performance of the third quarter of this financial year, uh, insofar as our turnover goes in comparison uh, uh, on the PF, uh, PFY, uh, we are about 4% up in terms of our total turnover. Uh, with regard to the uh, on quarter on quarter for um, uh, the same financial year, uh, we are up 14% in terms of our profitability which actually uh, showcases the, <clears throat> the high-end work that we have done uh, in, the, in this earning of this quarter. Uh, same way, if we see our EPS, it is uh, higher quarter on quarter, and uh, in comparison to the last quarter, it is higher, point, uh, it's higher by about 15%. Uh, based on the strength of the performance of this, financial, this quarter in this FY, we have also uh, declared uh, a dividend, interim dividend of two rupees per share, which is equal to the total dividend of the last financial year. So we expect a robust profitability in comparison to uh, the previous year. Uh, and uh, going forward, we also see uh, more businesses in our core as well as diversified business. Uh, would you like me to uh, add more numbers to it? Excuse me? Can you, you open the forum for questions, ma'am? Yes, we can. We yes, can. we can. All right. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may par and run on their touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use a handset while asking questions. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment until the question queue assembles. To ask the question, please press star and one at this time. First question is from the line of Saket Kapoor from Kapoor Industries. Please go ahead. Namaskar, ma'am, and uh, thank you for the opportunity. And uh, thank you for making our request of conducting now regular con calls. Uh, uh, thank you uh, for, for this continuity, firstly. You're welcome. Uh, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, firstly, if you could throw some more light uh, on the business process, the current business environment in terms of uh, order intake both for our consultancy as well as the Trunky project and the key headwinds we are facing in terms of execution for the Trunky project, any, any overrun in cost in any of particular projects. And I think so, uh, the company uh, is now pursuing uh, a business in new technologies also new, by new, it is the hydrogen uh, 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 business, I think so, uh, wherein we have make a uh, breakthrough. So if you could throw some more uh, light on the same, and then I have, I have some more follow-ups. Sure. 
so uh, so far as the uh, business order inflow goes uh, the total order inflow up to uh, the quarter ending uh, third quarter is 1507 crores in comparison to the entire order of 1569 for the last financial year uh, largely this order is in our consultancy segment which is a high end ji bekti shonge apni kotha bolchen tini apni uh so uh the large order is uh, almost uh, majority of this uh, order inflow is in the high end consultancy itself uh so far as our order book status goes up to december uh, 21 we are about 8200 crores uh in comparison to last financial year end which was 7982 crores uh we foresee uh we are already working on uh, with the uh, gale on hydrogen and we are looking forward to more uh, opportunity we have quoted for some proposals and we get uh, some more proposals on high uh, jobs on looking at various technical commercial aspects of uh, the hydrogen economy uh, we have also got a small feasibility for uh, ntpc which is another uh bio sector the renewable sector which will be then transforming into pmc and uh, project management services and uh, engineering implementation so uh this stage as we see in the market is a stage of transition where there is a lot of feasibility and lot of you know work going on in terms of assessing the investments in the uh, diversified sector of renewables uh, eil is very well entrenched in most of them in uh, the uh, space of uh, not only renewables but also in the core hydrocarbon sector where we work and these are going to turn around into projects where eil will have a very major role to play and with that we will have a we expect a reasonably good order book position uh, next year uh, would would this suffice or हेलो यस मैम मैं कंटिन्यू है हेलो या मैम विथ आई वाज कमिंग टू विथ नाउ द एग्जीक्यूशन साइकिल जनरली द फोर्थ क्वार्टर टर्न्स आउट टू बी अ बिग क्वार्टर इन टर्म्स ऑफ ऑल इंजीनियरिंग कंसर्न सो हाउ हाउ इज द एग्जीक्यूशन साइकिल साइकिल करेंटली मैम वी आर ऑलरेडी 45 डेज इनटू द क्वार्टर एंड दिस सर्वेली बीइंग अ लीन मंथ Yes. Uh, in terms of number of days, so uh, uh, how is the execution cycle uh, picking up, and where are we going to end uh, the year in in terms of uh, the revenue profile uh, trajectory? If you could give some more color. So, so I I I am sorry, I missed that point. I should have remembered to reply to that. Uh, you're right. In the last quarter, it is not just for the engineering services, also, but for every client, there are a lot of mechanical completions happening by year end to capitalize the assets. so work is on in full swing in all our projects whether we look at batinda refinery whether we look at vijag refinery or in some ways rajasthan refinery uh, so there is a lot of activity in terms of completion of a huge number of milestones in uh, a couple of these uh, mega projects and we will be realizing definitely uh, as you have seen year on year always quarter four turns out to be a better quarter with respect to implementation uh we are a little uh, uh we hope it will be picked up it has picked up already we have one of the highest number of manpower deployed in vijag now in comparison to last few months uh january was not that good because of covid but uh, it is steadily improved and uh, concerted efforts on the project management to finish off the pendencies to get uh, milestones in these projects is uh, is achievable and it would be uh, probably preemptive to uh, you know give you a number of thoughts on q4 but as it goes it will definitely be better than q3 that assurance uh, we can definitely give you and we are trying our best to do better than last year Uh, Mr. Kapoor, does that answer your question? Hello, ma'am. On the margin profile, hello. Yes. 
Yes, ma'am. On the margin profile, uh, with the inflationary trends in the uh, commodity prices, uh, uh, what kind of pressure are we seeing uh, uh, on the uh, on the margin uh, since uh, the, the the raw material prices of, of all the commodities are uh, are moving in the northward trajectory? And uh, and also, ma'am, on the uh, the point of our investment in in this uh, the urea business and the in the uh, in the fertilizer uh, segment, uh, I think so. We have been uh, posting losses in the joint venture, so this is the limitation in the uh, investment only that is happening, and these are not cash losses, but our investments are uh, are being marked to market. So this is the fair understanding uh, of the same. This 31 crore loss that we have a uh, book of share of profit from the joint venture. Right. So let me answer your first question on the margins. Uh, from in in respect so far as our services goes. In comparison to nine months of last year uh, to this year, our margins are two percent up in terms of our performance. Uh, yes, there are some uh, lump sum turnkey projects which we work for PMC, and the commodity prices are largely getting impact in those uh, you know LSTK segment where we are not LSTK contractors but we are LS, uh, PMC. Now therein also there are two types of contracting which happens. One which actually uh, you know, uh, compensates for the commodity uh, increase indexing and on kind of the trend in uh, the copper, aluminium, and steel. But there are some fixed term contracts wherein uh, there is no benefit, which is uh, or no compensation for the uh, unprecedented rise which has happened in the commodity prices. Uh, fortunately, EIL is not uh, entirely uh, affected. In some of the LSTK segments that we do, uh, there are um, concerns there, but they are under control. And uh, therein, if you can see also, uh, the turnkey segment turnover uh, is comparative to the nine months of last financial year, and also, uh, you know, comparative, in fact, higher uh, on quarter to on quarter basis. Uh, on the second part, in terms of the investments we have made in the fertilizer sector, as I had also mentioned in the last earning call, this is a unit under stabilization. And if you see on the three quarters performance of console results, uh, this quarter is better than the uh, last quarter one and quarter two of this financial year. The plant is running at around 65 to 70% capacity. There is a limitation on the offloading of urea over there in Ramakundam, which the railway ministry and the Telangana government is working upon. And it is expected that probably in March itself we will go up to 90%. Once we have a break, in, break point, it will only have, it will be governed by the urea policy and the return is an assured 12%. So uh, we have this joint venture with NFL and uh, like any uh, operating plant, it has, a, has you know stabilization issues which are now almost over. And we expect a good year uh, in the next financial year. We, it, is, it is going to give us a good return. There would be, of course, and an, uh, uh, what should I call the uh, returns are going to be governed by the subsidy, but the subsidy comes, even if it is a quarter late or uh, it, it is always there. So this is a time of transition, but once we have a steady, uh, uh, you know, uh, inflow from RFCL, once it's operating, I think it will be a stable investment that we have made. And what is the total investment made in this project? And as of now, how much limitation has been taken with the commissioning of the uh, project? And this fertilizer, Ramakundan uh, fertilizer. 491. 491 crore is the total investment in Ramakunda. <coughs> and uh, the other thing, what you mentioned, please, can you repeat? The limitation which we have taken or the losses booked, uh, the book entry which we have provided for. It's a 160 crore approximately. 160 crore. But what is the number? Our share is around 160 crore for the nine months. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. 160 yeah, 160 crore. crore. 160. So, ma'am, just to get the uh, last understanding, when the plants start moving, uh, start operating at a 90 to 95% uh, level, uh, what, what would be its, its contribution go, going forward? Uh, forward and ma'am the understanding from investor community is uh, that our 
the money uh, uh, of uh, of engineers india uh, being uh, being uh, being invested in these unrelated sectors uh, are, have not been i mean have not been uh, accepted very well in with the investing community you can see uh, uh, the type of capitalization Uh, this unique uh, business company is commanding. Even after the buyback, ma'am, as you were mentioning about dividend, I think so. Last year we also did a buyback, so that that amount was also uh, 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 were debited from our reserves and paid back to the shareholders. So right. it should be conclusive of. You have given dividend, dear. After that, the buyback amount also this year may add. But in spite of in spite of all the effort uh, being done, the investing community. Uh, Is uh, are finding it jittery, and that could be very well seen from the capitalization, ma'am. Uh, the way the prices have declined are and are maintaining at the low levels. In fact, there is so much enthusiasm in the market, and also with with respect to budget, also being for so much focus on the infrastructure sector, hydrocarbons. But but whichever जहाँ पे हम काम कर रहे हैं वहाँ पर positive news inflow है. But हम niche segment में होने के बाद भी investors में confidence नहीं बना पा रहे because uh, one of the point is this. अनरिलेटेड सेगमेंट में जो रुपया डाइवर्ट हुआ है इफ आई मे यूज करेक्ट मी देयर लेकिन उससे जो रिटर्न बनेंगे वो कमेंसरेट नहीं होंगे विद रेस्पेक्ट टू जो हमारी कोर कॉम्पिटेंसी है मैम अभी हम शायद रिफाइनरी सेगमेंट में भी इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं एनआरएल में तो उसका भी एक एप्रीहेंशन माइंड में है कि उससे रिलेटेड जो उसकी बेजरीज होगी द सेक्टर वर्ल्ड बेजरीज ऑफ फर्टिलाइजर एंड रिफाइनरीज वुड इवेंचुअली बी ऑन द इंजीनियर इंडिया पी एन एल अकाउंट दिस इज माई Uh, understanding man so it's go uh, mane how how to get uh, the investor uh, confidence back man what steps are you uh, taking uh, uh, to build investor confidence man you are at the helm now i think so not not even one year uh, as far yeah so but yahi point tha mera man so i i in fact uh, uh, this is also a cause of uh, attention cause of uh, attention from our side that uh, despite uh, doing uh, very well in the financials financials and we are steadily increasing profitability in terms of performance we are steadily getting more margins and increasing our internal efficiencies we are working in diversified areas diversified geographies we are doing all out to actually garner business and grow yet the reflection of that is not being uh, felt very positive in the market now uh, on this um, uh, yes we are a consultancy company uh, the uh, the large choices as you have already stated are only few that a company like ours has whether we do buyback in a repeated manner which brings back the liquidity and then benefits the shareholders or we put this into uh, secured may not be directly related uh, may not be our core business of operating and maintaining a plant but it is i wouldn't say it is unrelated so investments in rfcl we have got 200 crore epcm service because of that investments in uh, rfcl today also in nfl in nrl we have a much more uh uh what should i uh, much more a stronger relationship with nrl which for their expansion project had tendered out and it had not come to eil and we were not uh, i mean it it went out of our hands the dialogue on the strength of us being part of nrl in some way is actually bridging a lot of requirement of nrl and coming to eil today for nrl we have uh, sold three of our technologies with engineering which is uh, which is a unique uh, uh, you know achievement for a company like us domestic technology which actually goes towards atmanirbhar bharat so these are the pluses today for rfcl we are trying to work out how nano urea can be put in rfcl with nfl so these are the pluses if we have a stake there and we are Uh, uh part of it it is a business which is a, a compounding business i am not uh, uh, this is not something which is immediately going to reflect but it will be on a long term it will help the growth of the company to diversify its investments in this manner so uh, uh, there is no uh, nrl for example has already 
a commitment from the government of India in terms of benefits. Northeast is a sector which will be developing. So investments there are very secure. Once they are, and we have already got 16 crore dividend in the uh, interim dividend which NRL has already declared and which is there reflected in our books also. So uh, I would convey to the investor community that uh, in a short term, it may be the visibility of our investments and the visibility of the way EIL is going could be viewed. I would not could be viewed in this manner, but in a long term, there is a strategy in it. There is a strategy, and both which is financially sound as well as for growth, it is also uh, uh, quite positive and full of opportunity. Uh, right, ma'am. Thank you for the elaborate answer. Two point on the other income part, ma'am. Do we have this? Rapport? Yeah, I'll come in the queue. I'll come in the queue. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Next question is from the line of Viral Shah from Yes Securities. Please go ahead. Yeah, good evening, ma'am. Uh, so basically, sir, ma'am, could you highlight us on, on give us more clarity on the tendery pipeline, which is there in terms of petrochemicals, various projects, large secret site projects like Kaveri Basin, Nina Refinery, what is the status on the same? Okay. Kaveri Basin Refinery, we had uh, uh, been awarded in quarter three, quarter two, and we that was a job order of 100 and uh, 1000 and 1039 crores and it is work it is uh, uh, going on well there is uh, there is this is future yeah uh, there is already um, movement at site also there are some land issues which will be sorted out by the owners and uh, so far as right now we have more of engineering activity which is on full swing. We have a complete team deployed here as well as in, in uh, the site. Uh, looking forward, we have uh, expansions of uh, uh, Panipat, of HMEL, of MRPL, uh, work for Kochi, BPCL in Kochi. We are already working for Bina. You would have seen all the uh, announcements which the BPCL chairman has made recently. Uh, on the polypropylene at Kochi and uh, petrochemical at Bina, EIL is there. And like I mentioned, exactly what I mentioned a while back, we are there as part of the feasibility with a low value, high end work, which leads to project, uh, pre project activities and projects. So we are there. Uh, also for uh, pipeline activity in terms of uh, uh, the, both the gas and LPG. There are a lot of work which is being done in feasibility. There are some import facilities also which are being worked on. Uh, you have also seen the statement of uh, CO and MD of PLL. And uh, there also there are two projects which he has uh, mentioned. One is the Gopalpur FSRU and as well as the PP and PDH in the H. EIL is there and we are at the center stage doing the feasibility for them and we look forward and if you've seen the numbers of investment which you'd have shared, you see the volume of product projects which are there for mm -hmm. them. Uh, besides, we are also uh, working very closely with the other sectors, uh, especially when we are looking at addition, addition of petrochemicals, specialty chemicals. Uh, we are also just talking to the private sector for some of the work. We are also looking at co-development of a lot of technologies with the private sector and the public sector which will go into uh, you know, commercialization, which is our core. You, know, you talked of technical uh, competence, and that is also very much focused upon. So we, I, I mean, I, at the helm of affairs with my team, see a huge opportunity, not just uh, what I've told. There are plenty of other uh, you know, leads. Not only here, we've just won a small job, but a, a sizable volume later in Nigeria, which is, again, a PMC work that we have, the feasibility work. So um, there are some certain other projects of Gale also we are working upon. Um, so there are there are plenty of work which is going on, which will convert to projects very soon. So when when you look at and quantify in terms of numbers, uh, yes. one is the core petrochemical segment. Yes. Uh, what will be a big pipeline look like? Maybe thirty thousand crores kind of opportunity over a three-year period, or or 
a number if you quantify uh, and, and secondly and non core segment you know when you expect uh, actual commemoration to take place and what can uh, that part of order book be for a two year three year perspective not on a short run but yes on the long run what 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 is the expectation of strategy going forward and lastly man uh, you know a lot of projects has been delayed uh, so obviously this year also the order inflow was subdued we had been able to back 1500 or kind of uh, crores of order inflow uh, but from a longer run perspective what is the run rate where we would be comfortable at maybe 2000 2500 Uh, so that we can get our, uh, you know, the revenue and exhibition pipeline going. These are my three questions. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I would not be able to tell you the absolute number of volume of projects in terms of crores. I have given you sufficient uh, number. In fact, information of the projects. So if you see the the announcements made, you can see as a percentage what kind of things we would get. No problem. That's fine, huh. ma'am. yeah but in in case you are talking of the uh, uh, what is a healthy order book for for both sustenance and what is a healthy order book for a good cagr you know uh, yeah. it, it is again uh, we have uh, we would like in ideally to have a 65% 65 35% mix of consultancy and epc primarily because consultancy gives us very good margins and yeah. epc gives us a good top line so that's the kind of mix that would be ideal uh, for us uh, for uh, as i mentioned before the large part of our to- uh, the uh, you know the um, order book is mainly in the uh, consultancy now so we are trying to get as much as we can also in epc uh, largely uh, yes uh, something like 2000 plus is a good number Uh, it's a good number. We would aspire for more, but that that number for a reasonable growth year on year. Yeah. Oh, fair enough, ma'am. And lastly, ma'am, we have not bag any 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 project on our EPC for quite some time now. Uh, so where we are in terms of bidding, or you know, are we close to getting one or two projects, or what is the strategy out there? And uh, and la- and secondly, uh, on the same question. Uh, in terms of margins, uh, are these fixed, fixed price contracts, or there's a possibility of price raising in there as well? Uh, why I'm coming to this is because any which way we are making two percent on a bit. Uh, so uh, whether we can have that, uh, any of the contracts is fixed price, and we are going to take some hit on that. So clarity on that will be helpful. Thank you. Like, uh, Neera, uh, this is Neera. Neera. Yeah. Yeah. As, as mix is concerned, ma'am has uh, shared it's about 65-35 is the ideal mix we would like to have for top line and bottom line growth <coughs> on a long term basis. Uh, as far as uh, EPCs are concerned, see wherever we take up EPC projects, you would know that because of conflict of interest, we will be forfeited from taking a feed and PMC assignment. So with this kind of a margin mix, our first priority is always to go in for a consultancy assignment where we do feed and pmcs or we are epcm consultant majority of projects uh, there are epcm uh, mode of contracting where uh, there are no epc contracts uh, mm-hmm. so uh, like in cpcl some units are in epcm only few units are on pmc same in panipat it is a mix same in nrl uh, wherever uh, there is a Uh, opportunity between a PMC and EPC, we will first try for PMC. Fortunately for us, in EPC modes of contracting also, we have been able to go in for costless kind of contracts, which gives you more security in terms of variations in plant and machinery and also stability in terms of bottom line margin. So, um, so, so we are uh, cutting down on our variability. Stabilizing our margins and looking for a reasonable growth. Fair enough, sir. Lastly, sir, in terms of uh, turnkey, uh, you rightly mentioned that. So I'm just evaluating: is there some opportunity where we can beg some some large orders in turnkey? Because this is one segment where we have not begged anything for quite some time, not a large to such size kind of order. So just wanted to understand that. Yeah, as I shared with you, we have not done EPCs because we are PMC consultants there. 
इंडिया So uh, that's the call we have to take uh, if we go for this kind of a margin. Okay, fair enough. Lastly, if I may add one last question, Dr. Kumaran, uh, uh, when we look at you know when you look at the historical margins, uh, I guess F5 14 15 was where 13 14 was where you used to command 24 26 kind of percent of margin. Obviously, the revenue share from consultancy was very high. Uh, uh, you know, if we if we try to you know mix change or mix from currently 50 55 percent of consultancy to 65 uh, percent or 70 percent uh, can we expect our margin to bounce back significantly from uh, 11 12 percent to maybe 18 19 or percent uh, it is possible it is possible and we are working on that end we are trying uh, we have reopened some of the divisions which were our us okay ma'am sorry i lost you hello Hello. Participants, please give us a line for the management speaker. Please, we can enter when we connect them. Apologies for the long wait. We have the management line now reconnected. Uh, Niram, can you please continue? Yeah, Niram, I was asking, uh, answering your question. Yeah. Yeah, ma'am. So, so, so what we are trying to say, we have, we have re reopened some of re uh, constituted some of our USPs, you know, some departments which are very high end uh, work they do, where our margins are very high, as you mentioned. In I think 14, 15, 15, 16, our margins were high. 14, 15, we were. Yeah, yeah, 14, ma'am. If I 14 and 13, I was there. Yeah. Last year. Yeah. So, so now uh, what only happens is that we don't kind of see that kind of growth in the top line. So on the margins, we would grow. So that's why we are seeing a healthy order book of 65, 35 kind of gives us both. Margin may not be 24 percent. There could be 17, 18, or 15 percent, or 13 percent. But our top line also shows growth. That's the that's that's how the segments are now divided, uh, kind of reflect. Uh, so we we will definitely. In fact, we have already broken broken that barrier. Those groups have actually, and uh, the objective is that they become SBUs. So once they do that, then it is uh, more of a you know a uh, high end work which recognizes both india and overseas so it is it's, it's going to take some initial time to kind of get that uh, momentum to break out and uh, form so but we are confident eil is moving in that direction the management is also steering i am steering in these kind of high end Uh, work which is unique to us. No one else in the country does that, or many very few people in the world also do that. Yeah, ma'am, I agree to that, and I I think that was where you know we also used to command a premium as well uh, from the market cap perspective as well, right? Because people were really gung ho about the business and the kind of work we used to do. Right? And I guess if we could bring that, I think uh, the market cap uh, should come back. That is what the expectation is. Thank you, yes. ma'am, and all the best for future, sir. Thank you. Continue doing the good job, ma'am. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you.
Thank you. Next question is from the line of Father Gandhi from Future Jindwali India Life Insurance Company. Please go ahead. Yeah, am I audible? Yes, you are. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you so much. So, ma'am, uh, my question is, uh, we have been making uh, losses from past uh, three quarters in the associate company, which is Ramakundam Fertilizer Limited. Uh, what is uh, uh, our internal assessment by when will be, uh, I mean, break even? And uh, what is the utilization at le uh, level at which this uh, Ramakundam Fertilizer Company is working? And at what utilization level will it break even? And it will start contributing positively to our uh, bottom line. So let me answer the last, um, not the last, to the mid part. It's running uh, today at about 65% uh, capacity. And uh, uh, we expect the break even to happen even in March, in the month of March itself, last month. 70% is the break even. 70% is the break even where it starts, uh, you know, making money. And uh, uh, as I also replied earlier, it is definitely going to be positive next year, and we expect the breakpoint to happen in March itself. Okay, so if I understand correctly, it is currently at 55% utilization level. 5, 60, 65%. 65%, and in another 5% uh, more, yes. it will start breaking even. Yes. Uh, and at, ma'am, uh, at, at roughly, say, 80, 85% utilization level, uh, how much uh, horsepower that uh, does that company has to make money? I mean, what is the EBITDA that uh, that company will generate? There's a, this is under the uh, urea policy of 2015, which is extended to Ramakundam also. So on a post-tax return, is a assured return of 12% on the investment, on equity. So that's the kind of return we will get on our 491 crores once it uh, produces and the there is almost uh, almost 60 percent of the demand of urea is in telangana itself so the market is very much there the distribution is done by nfl so there are logistic issues on rail there are some 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 issues on the uh, rates some dialogues are going on on that there are some issues on the truck on the local issues are also there which are being resolved and once that happens and the offtake goes up, it will uh, uh, it will get uh, you know sorted and uh, once see if you have a 60% demand in the state, then movement outside becomes uh, you know lesser than required. So uh, there are high level meetings happening almost once a week uh, to uh, ease out this kind of. Uh, uh, Synergy between the, uh, the various uh, agencies, various state and center, and everything. So it will smoothen out very soon because we all we realize today we are producing something like 300 tons, 300 rupees a ton, 300 dollar per ton urea, and the import is not less than 900, if I recall correctly, the number yeah, goes yeah, right. Yes, 99. So there is a huge push and everybody is working, every stakeholder on RFCL is on the job. Uh, EIL, RFCL, our ministries, uh, railway ministry, Telangana government, so everybody is on the job to support them to, uh, you know, uh, this for the dispatches. So right. that should happen very soon. Please appreciate that there is uh, a stabilization required in particular on operating units, especially where they handle solids, like bagging and dispatching. It's a, it's a more complex than the process industry, like refineries, uh, which we deal with, which are stabilized so soon within, you know, a few uh, weeks, sometimes. Hello. Are we disconnected with the management? Hello. Uh, I think we have lost the bank of management again. Please stay connected while we reconnect them.
participants again apologies for the delay in reconnecting we have the management line now reconnected uh, yes ma'am Yes. So, ma'am, uh, thank you. Thank you for your answer, ma'am. Continuing with uh, exceptional losses question. So, in last uh, Q4 of FY21, we had booked an exceptional loss of 155 crores, and that was uh, because of uh, probable few principal defaults on the investments book. So, ma'am, any update there? Are any more exceptional losses coming in subsequent quarters? Uh, let me be honest with you. Uh, that was done in complete transparency. To do the uh, books, uh, make good of the losses of the principal in the PF trust. Uh, there are some uh, very small investments which, if at all go bad, will be accounted for. But let me assure and confirm that the substantial value of 159, 154 Four. will nowhere be ever on the books of EIL, henceforth. So uh, it was a conscious attempt, conscious decision to uh, make sure this was reported and closed. Yeah, but ma'am, that time it was reported that this is 80% of the probable yes. defaults. And the yes, so you are aware of the market, you would probably, financial markets, you are better equipped to understand. Yeah, you I are so. knowing that we have a, uh, you know, uh, to go by the waterfall mechanism, we have to go by the COC and N class decisions and uh, the uh, resolution professionals, uh, uh, you know, uh, decide uh, decisions as per the rule and uh, the uh, the hierarchy where we sit in terms of the, um, uh, the investments we have made. 80% uh, was the actuarial value which was determined. Uh, since we have already accounted for 80%, there is already some which we have uh, we have already got back. And if any, as I mentioned, and let me be very honest and straight, in case there are any uh, closures of any investments and they need to be accounted for, which will be uh, definitely much lower than what was done in terms of provisioning, it will be done. EIS books will be clean on this uh, account and uh, very transparent as have always been. Uh, thank you so much for uh, the transparency that you've shown and uh, all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. The next question is a follow up from the line of Saket Kapoor from Kapoor Investments. Please go ahead. Hello? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, 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 I have not uh, uh, heard the cash in cash on books figure, ma'am. If you could uh, help me out with the same. But, but, ma'am, please. It's, it's around 1200 to 1300 crore, between 1200 to 1300 crore. Okay. And when we come to the slide number 23, ma'am, okay. if you would, yeah. Investment. Okay. Capital investment. Okay. If if you could explain uh, what are we, what is the message we are uh, trying to give from investment one two and three money uh, I think so you have spoken about the the Ramagundam fertilizer in total investment of equity yes. about, of four ninety one crore yes. and now coming to this NELP uh, two upstream assets and the minority stake in Nubrigar our Nubrigar investment is seven hundred crore as mentioned and yes. this sixteen crore uh, dividend. Uh, we have received for this quarter itself, and it, it is there in the other income of 39 crores? Yes, yes it is yes. in the other income. Other. Matraji, correct? Yes, other income. yes, yes. yes. Hmm. Uh, okay, so please explain uh, uh, about our investment for this NEL uh, to upstream assets. What is the update on the same? Uh, yeah. yeah, so you, you, uh, you're quite aware that uh, yeah, in the nation needs to enhance our uh, production of both oil and gas and going by that we have partnered with the uh, BPRL and we are in uh, consortium partners with Gale for the two blocks in the upstream. Uh, there is uh, a, a kind of uh, uh, there is a probable uh, in one there is a probable chance of uh, getting that uh, asset realize uh, the uh, returns in the other it is uh, it is likely that you may we no, may not get the price at which 
recovery would come would be much higher than uh, the today's trading price of crude. So that there are decisions being made with the consortium, our lead partners mm -hmm. who are uh, actually uh, working on the economics and working on ground. Uh, will in due course, you know, share more information with us. Uh, but these are in the good of the nation that we need to work upon the uh, enhancing exploration in the upstream. Yes, ma'am, that is that is very true. But in a listed space, uh, when you have when you have other shareholders, then uh, there wherein the commitment is more. Then towards the nation, it is it is it is our duty. We are taxpayers, so we are committed to the nation in that way. But if if a listed company also have uh, these kinds of uh, commitment towards uh, nation from listed entities, it, it 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 is not giving the right message to the investing community that if there is no ये कोई नहीं बता पाएगा कि आप जो cash generate करेंगे उसका सही utilization कैसे होगा? Who will decide? It is the promoter that is the the government of India. So there must be segregation between what the minority shareholders are expecting and what the government uh, has uh, has asked uh, the management to do. No, your 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 thing is correct. That we have to take care of our share, our minority investors, or non-government investors, or government of India who are hiding investors. We have to take care of them. 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 We have to take care of we need to see business in our own money that we have right and i'm completely with you on it now uh, while i am with you on it uh, there are some things which as um, uh, as a sectoral uh, company uh, there are some obligations and uh, uh, as and when they come we have to evaluate now these are also these are not processes see these are not Investments made just by somebody directions. These are assessments, and assessments are done with proper technical and commercial due diligence, right? Sorry. So these have also been done with proper due diligence. A proper process has been followed, and the outcome uh, is subject to the prices of crude. So it would, uh, and at that time, the assessment what was done was had made sense. Commercial sense. While we are a government organization, but let me tell you, no board, neither ours or in other PSUs, takes any decision which is commercially not attractive. It is very rarely that we have uh, some, uh, you know, uh, decision-making process which doesn't make any sense. There could be. I would not say no to it uh, in terms of the uh, decisions, but largely they are all discussed. especially of commercial investments and the logic of the investments of both uh, at uh, with bprl or gain was completely due diligence was done in terms of the pricing and then only these uh, you know were taken up in consortium correct ma'am when when we look at this numerical uh, numerical is uh, refined investment also ma'am uh, our our investment is to the tune of 700 crore Right. And the dividend which we have received for this, if uh, if uh, I am not aware of the financials for, for NRS, so excuse me on that front. So it is a two to three percent uh, payout uh, if if we take the, only this 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 dividend. Other than the dividend, uh, I don't I don't think so. There would be any other mode by which we would be receiving our cash back and until and unless they go for an IPO and we get an opportunity to uh, dilute our stake at that point. So, so I, that that was the reason, yes, ma'am. Right. So, so I would percent. hold you. I would hold the investors to closure of this financial year. I think it is premature to uh, uh, judge the percentage return on the investment just with the first interim declaring uh, declaring the first interim dividend by Nomalika refineries. I think I would hold the um, uh, the this, the uh, you know the award. of a judgment in this matter till the financial year closes and the final dividend is declared by nomalikar okay uh, okay ma'am so i i got the message but when we look at your 9 months versus 9 months ma'am uh, december 20 and december 21 mota uh, mota ma'am pbt have remain flat so uh, how, how will how should we uh, look at uh, these numbers ma'am 
money if i look at that uh, that top line uh, look at the bottom line it is 302 crores and last year it was for the nine months 309 crores mm. so uh, is it the only covid factors that has flattened our number and, and there is no growth uh, in the bottom line uh, see there were a lot of projects which have not if you see the activity now there is a lot of announcement and i just shared with you some of the announcements made by some of the owners so there are many more announcements which will come see we get businesses when there is investment and growth so no doubt as someone mentioned on the uh, investments which are also business opportunities as part of the budget and definitely there is a huge investment which is planned in the oil and gas itself which is over 1 lakh 11000 crores also in infrastructure which is huge uh, you know so we uh, the cycle has to also start no the investment cycle once it goes at a swing commensurate to that only we will get our job so it has not been very uh, you know robust uh, in terms of growth you already in the gdp also you see the reflection in some ways also comes there in uh, last two years from march 19 to 22 no not 19 20 to 21 now 22 mm-hmm. we are only picking up you see the uh, the vehicle sales in uh, last month in january have you seen that the yes yes you know so you is reflective the growth is reflective in many elements one of it is in these the sectors when we see growth in passenger vehicles or uh, you know so uh, it the commercial vehicle sales is pretty good so there is going to be activity means there is going to be some you know it's i have seen now year on year the vehicle sales has increased by 14% you know total commercial vehicle sales so which means to say that there is commercial activity picking up if it picks up then the sentiment of the market is there sentiment to invest there is demand there is investment not only in our core sector but other sectors like infrastructure and all there is a huge push in the budget in the infrastructure also you know so uh, we are definitely going to go all pitch all pitch is there all efforts are there to garner more jobs my single mantra to us is and to to eil and all of us is that we must get as much business as we can uh, whether it is a high end business a consultancy business or uh, a form of an lstk ob business the more business we get the more we will grow the more our presence will be the more we can satisfy uh, the investor community so our uh, concerted effort is to garner more jobs in any and every sector build on more clients build on new clients build on new geographies these are some of the pillars that we are working on ma'am on the l1 part can you throw some light ma'am uh, l1 uh, uh, l1 means and abhi hum log l1 kitne orders mein hai abhi jo, jo bidding process abhi chal raha hoga ye to aap ko hum maybe share you any bidding information uh, we 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 will not we will share with you no no i was just looking at the size of the order where we have bid and our strike rate just to have an understanding kitne orders ha ji it's a little sensitive i think to share on these elements is okay. when we have to be it's difficult for us to share right yeah kapoor ji it is uh, it is sensitive because it's a competitive environment yeah. and we are bidding So moment we are uh, getting the job, we are anyway declaring the quarter. I think we already declared in the quarter. Ma'am, ma'am, uh, the Jal Se Nal project of the uh, uh, of the government are, are uh, is is Engineers India anyway uh, participating, uh, uh, doing any work uh, in this or any pie we are garnering out of this entire project? Which project? The Jal Se Nal project, which is uh, which is now the flagship project of the uh, current uh, government. Uh, are Shakti. yeah the jal se nal jal shakti project yes shakti or uh, well, we are, we are no 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 is it gati shakti gati shakti yes ma'am this time it was Haan, uh, it was mentioned gati shakti where in, uh, the entire gamut comes in yeah uh, it's no, a jal se nal yeah i i will not disclose anything on gati shakti right now so you have to be sensitive yeah. to let yeah. it be with yeah. us moment yeah. okay there are something material to yeah we will we will take we will it we will share and is a small a small closing point from my side ma'am firstly ma'am uh, we should we should try in best of our opportunity to come up with our board meetings and all also uh, a, a bit early than at the fag end 
and uh, and and our presence uh, in the investor community should also be enhanced ma'am today i saw your interview at cnbc awards and uh, there should be a ways and means by which the presence of the company should be felt in the investing community so that attraction can and on a regular basis being uh, developed other than the con calls uh, there, there should other mediums also the other con calls uh, infrastructure calls and many con calls happen uh, uh, over the period of time so uh, what in wherever our company is relevant there should be a presence from the team uh, uh, so that 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 builds a base and confidence uh, among the investor uh, community ma'am so, so these these are the points uh, uh, I, i thought this medium uh, this map can convey convey kar sakun ma'am there Because is a, there is interest yes ma'am batai uh, there is a concerted effort from our end to do that uh, yes. and i would very much like to know the formula of uh, uh, you know enhancing our share price so that our market cap increases and nothing more would excite me to um, you know actually make that happen uh, as a company so we are as leadership committed to it and we definitely need your support we need your support we also need a feedback and you have given very positive feedback uh, on the perception i mean uh, all of you you really shared that so i would also thank you for that yes. Yes, ma'am. You should work. And there are agencies who work for value creation ideas, and uh, uh, as as the board hires and looks forward for the deliberations, and uh, our contributions are always always there. Uh, but it, these were the points for which uh, I I thought uh, just sharing with you. And for the ethanol story, also, ma'am, uh, any participation from uh, uh, we are uh, in, for a setup of an ethanol plant, uh, any engineering work or uh, job we are doing, there is lot of traction. Uh, in the ethanol segment also like all across the country yeah. so 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 now i think uh, we really need to communicate better we are setting up the world's largest only bio refinery which is happening today which is abrpl and assam eil is the front runner in implementation of bio refineries ethanol bio refineries so uh, i think uh, wherever you can showcase this code this we have taken a technology from a bench scale to commercial scale and we have a a a agreement we have a strategic alliance with them in terms of r&d and innovation so i think eil is on the front runner on its own uh, there is no question of us how we are there in fact we were the first ones to do these pfrs in 2016 so eil has been contributed to the national biofuel policy eil has been uh, helping the ministry in uh, formulation of the pradhan mantri jeevan yojana eil has evaluated technology and eil today is uh, working for implementing engineering pmc project management it's a good sizable project we are doing for uh, abrpl in nomaligarh and also we have this uh, r&d association we are also doing a dtl feasibility for ntpc so we are very much there i think no other company to this extent is involved and engaged and committed to the biofuel and the ethanol projects in particular than eil and what is the size of the contract ma'am this abr one uh, see the uh, size of the contract would be something like uh, probably around 100 crores 100 crores you said that 100 crores okay that that means now let now you have brought me here let me bring another perspective to it as a consultancy organization you only we see only our turnover in terms of our uh, uh, the uh, fees that we get if you see in terms of the value of projects that we are implementing today it is more than almost 2 and a half lakh crore to 3 lakh crore project just think of it in the other way you see how many lakh crore projects that eil is implementing as a consultancy organization and if we add that up it will add to something like 2 and a half to 3 lakh crores that is the num that's the value of projects that we implement we place something like 2500 orders per year on various um, mrs and uh, tenders we turn around almost Six to seven orders per day. That's the volume of work EIL handles. So, and it's very complex. However, our turnover is a percentage of the fee of the cost of the or the services that we do, and that's why 
see and the vastness of the company does not reflect as it should you know in in the uh, in the top line figures okay uh, so by by 100 crore you means our revenue our share of uh, business or money this is the revenue we are going to get for the company fees. this is the fees what that we get yeah 100 crore is the fees yes yes, yes. and so what is the size of business board. hello about 2000 so that project is 30 to 50 uh, crore 3250 crore yes that's right okay. Okay, and hundred crore is our in income from uh, the same uh, providing our consultancy. Yes, sir. correct. And, and and also, are we working on any carbon ca capture project? Also, ma'am, this is also a talking point. Uh, I cannot disclose uh, that it is confidential. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It is confidential. I can only say we are, but I, it's confidential. You know, carbon capture is a very very confidential area. I would not be able to share anything on that today. Okay, ma'am. Love because NTP have started uh, uh, the work on the same the power plant, uh, the old power plant for NTPC. So I thought uh, if if I could get some clarification on this uh, same. In due course of time, we will announce. Correct, correct, ma'am. Ma'am, ma many thanks to you for ad addressing, uh, listening patiently, uh, answering my questions. I my first interaction was you uh, during the AGM, and uh, post that is the second opportunity. And uh, uh, really thankful to the board, and and I hope. Uh, that our suggestions uh, uh, would be taken on board if they, if they derive merit and uh, uh, hope uh, for further interactions and a long journey with the uh, with this organization uh, the uh, with its esteem value uh, still uh, unlocked so uh, hope for a, a good you. good time ahead uh, thank, you. thank you and all the best thank you very much thank you as there are no further questions i now hand the conference over to the management team for closing remarks over to you so uh, as i have uh, already in detail explained uh, explained eil is on the growth path uh, both in terms of uh, garnering businesses in the core sector there is a, a strategic road map towards growth in the diversified sector as well as strategic uh, 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 footprints enhancing in the international territory as well Uh, we have also reconstituted some of our USP, some high-end technology work that we do to garner the uh, existing clients and build new clients. Mm -hmm. And there is expected to be uh, uh, a good, uh, positive, and encouraging, uh, uh, you know, interest from our customers, which is already felt. Uh, in terms of adjacency, we are also looking at other businesses. and uh, we already have a foot in the door and uh, in uh, green hydrogen we are working extensively on biofuels in the renewable sector uh, so in the uh, and we are also likely to play a very significant role in the transition of uh, energy which our core refinery sector is uh, to meet the cop 26 commitment so uh, uh, in going forward we expect more orders in hand and uh, uh, a higher uh, both consultancy and turnkey segment so that we uh, the vision that we have for the company in the years to come is realized thank you thank you very much members of management ladies and gentlemen on behalf of bakiwala and sarani securities in the private limited that concludes today's conference call Thank you all for joining us and you may now disconnect your lines. Thank you.